Hello, David Zeritsky for the Bond Experience. Welcome back. Um, Harken back to Skyfall, which hard to believe it was over a year ago today. And uh, we've all done quite a bit of collecting since then. But the one thing that's been just out of my reach has been the Aston Martin. No, the one thing that's been out of my reach that I actually can have has been the Skyfall tuxedo uh, from Tom Ford. And I mean, it's an indelible image now from Skyfall. It's been on all the different paraphernalia, posters, it's, it's been a part of the very icon of the particular movie. And a part of it's my fault. I mean, I tried it on several times when the movie first came out. A lot of talk, people talked about getting it. I even went to Harrods and tried it on. A lot of excitement, but I said, you know what, it'll always be available. So when the time came to get a tuxedo, and I have my wife to thank for this, she goes, you know what, just get a tuxedo. Nothing fits like a Tom Ford suit. I was inspired, and I went to Tom Ford to get the Skyfall tuxedo. Not available. Not available anymore. They didn't have the cut. They could make make to measure, but it's not going to be exact. So I was in a funk, but I dealt with it. It's, you know, you start to do the whole sour grape thing. You start to think, ah, you know what? It's it's too expensive anyway. Lo and behold, just about a month or two ago, a couple of eagle-eyed detectives actually found one on eBay from a merchant uh, who I actually got to meet in person, but that's another story, um, who had found one in Italy. Not only did they find the right one, um, but they put it on eBay, and it was made of the same correct material. So, of course, I ran to eBay to find that, sure enough, there was a new Tom Ford cashmere mohair midnight navy tuxedo suit, size 50 or 40, U.S. style, um, and obviously I was very excited. Not only was it half the price of what it was, but it was in the correct mohair cashmere blend. Uh, read the description, got excited that it was brand new, had never been altered or fitted, was my size, the correct fabric. The only thing a little bit different was um, that it was double vented and not the no vent. I see in the movie, but I wasn't about to split hairs. So as you can imagine, what I did was um, I purchased it right away and um, was able to go to Tom Ford and met uh, John Guidry, who's the new man about town as far as Bond clothing and everything Tom Ford Bond, and um, fitted myself for the tuxedo, did the buttons, did all those extra pieces, and it's here. Uh, it's been done, it's delivered, and uh, let's take a look at it. So to really create the Bond experience, now that the suit is here, um, I'm opening the box for the first time in front of you. Um, hoping the suit fits. I haven't tried it on. I haven't looked into it. Um, so let's, let's see it together. Now you'll notice that um, these things are shipped in a very careful way. And I, I do need to thank Tom Ford. Um, the, the company is a very big fan of the Bond experience. Thank you very much. Um, and because of that, they didn't charge us for the fitting, the accoutrements, the shipping, etc. Um, so thank you very much for doing that and uh, for helping to create uh, a little man's dream. So here we go. Um, you can see inside. I mean, it's amazing. The way they set these up is almost like shipping it in a mini closet. Um, it, it's got the rod in here. It's got a little bar to protect the hanger so it doesn't move around. Looks like we have some accoutrements in there, but uh, let's... Let's check it out. Uh, by the way, if you if you recognize where this knife is from, you are a uh, a big Bond geek. It's the Quantum of Solace knife that he has towards the end of the movie. But let's uh, let's start making our way through this. Like I said, it's uh, it's well packed, so we're gonna kind of go through it. There's a little bar holding it all together, so we're gonna surgically remove it. And uh, much like I'm sure you get goodies in the mail. This has to look like a familiar scene. By the way, a little fun thing. I, um, I actually did something on Facebook and you know, on the Bond Experience where people guessed what was in the box. 
and I think everybody pretty much knew what was in the box, but um, well, it was interesting to say the least. And here we go. So now that we got most of the tape off, this should pull up like so. All right. A very familiar Tom Ford bag and some other goodies, it looks like. So let's take a look. Um, we'll get this lovely pull off. Easier said than done. Yeah, that's not the right way to do it, folks. But anyway, um, first of all, we have a, a little bag. I'm not sure what that's all about. Let's take a look. Ah, okay. Uh, these are the suspenders. I had the uh, the suit done for the Thurston, um, the Albert Thurston suspenders that he wears in Skyfall. So that's handy. And another little bag. Um, ah, okay. So uh, Tom Ford shoehorn. They usually throw in some little fun gift. This is very funny. So I had actually mentioned to John Guidry that um, my wife had uh, stolen my Tom Ford lip balm. Um, so he sent me my own. We'll see how long that lasts. Uh, but here we go. So this is the fun part. Let's uh, let's take a look at it. So if we can uh, swing the camera over here, we will open this up and take a look. Aha! And there she blows. Very nice on a uh, Tom Ford hanger. And there is the Skyfall suit. In all its glory, with the buttons, nice little touch. They uh, they actually left the uh, the bottom one unbuttoned, which is very Bond. And inside, let's see. Uh, this is a basic base A uh, 50R, which is like a 40, 50% 50 cashmere, 50% mohair. Absolutely beautiful, stunning piece. Now, what did they do to this? So what they did was, I thought it fit perfectly, but the tailors there are very discerning. So they actually raised up the uh, armholes even higher because of my particular build. Um, they did shorten this a little bit, so I had a little bit more cuff showing because I want to have the cuff length showing. Um, uh, and that was basically it, other than putting on the buttons and obviously they hem the pants. So why don't we do this? Why don't we actually try this on and uh, see how the Skyfall tuxedo fits. We'll see you soon. Okay, here it is. Um, mostly put together. You can see it's got a very slim military cut with a slight flare at the bottom as you kind of come up. Um, I've got to say, everything is fitting very, very well. So you can tell how they've raised the particular armholes um, from the side uh, silhouette, which is very Tom Ford. You know, these the chest, everybody thinks the shoulders are built up in the Tom Ford, but it's really the chest that's built up. It almost feels like armor, um, but it feels great. And you'll notice that this particular one, a little bit different than the Skyfall one, just slightly, is the double vent versus the solid, which is a little untraditional for tuxedos, but um, I actually happen to find it much more comfortable. Um, I'm a big fan of double vent, especially with one button, so I'm very happy with this. You'll also notice that the shawl right here is um, thinner than the ones that are out today, and so that's why you'd have to get this made to measure. The Skyfall ones had a slightly thinner shawl, than the ones that you'll buy now, which are a little bit thicker as far as the shawl lapels are concerned. The mohair cashmere fabric feels amazing. And by the way, you'll probably notice a couple little details. Um, I do not have the correct cufflinks on, but I, I do have some nice representations going on. Um, the, the, the way they did, obviously, the, the cuff is perfect. Now, just little detail stuff. Um, I'm wearing the Casino Royale tie, Casino Royale shirt. I don't have the right shirt, nor the studs. I did, however, uh, purchase at Tom Ford, I can get it open, the uh, correct bow tie. So uh, here's the correct bow tie from Skyfall, for those of you who collect these type of things. Notice it's um, one that you've got to hand tie yourself. It's not the little clip on. So I've got to learn how to do that. You can see the uh, the grain uh, striations in there. Um, 
I know it's probably hard to pick it up on camera, but it's there, which is interesting because uh, as uh, a few people have pointed out, that is a, um, a fashion faux pas to have it, you know, you should have something more silky. So I might actually just wear it with the Casino Royale tie, at least until I find out how to tie it. Now, very happy with the suit, but lest you think I am a Tom Ford shill, it's time for fair balance, folks. Now, I know that they, uh, John Guidry had explained that they have different tailors over there than the ones I'm used to. And unfortunately, they have a little problem. You see, my lovely suspenders that were supposed to be attached, in fact, on the Tom Ford ticket, uh, looks like Igor was my tailor. Oh, Igor, how could you? Um, they didn't put the buttons on. And so I could not put the suspenders on, which, a bit of a pain in the butt since now I've got to either take the suit back or send the pants back or I've got to make arrangements so I will be calling Tom Ford but in general I am extremely happy and I can't say enough about the suit itself I mean the suit feels good um, you can see that's the amazing thing about Tom Ford suits um, you can you can do things in it, right uh, not gonna play this but um, you know you're not constricted like so many other suits out there, especially some of the nicer ones, even like Armani, they tend to have a little restriction. On this particular one, I mean, you can really kind of do your particular poses. You can move around. It's very comfortable. You almost feel like, um, you almost feel like you could sleep in them. Um, so let's get some other shots of this. So it's been a bit of a journey, if you will, all the way from wanting this particular tuxedo to actually finding it on eBay of all places, to getting the right material, to getting the tailors of Tom Ford to take a look at it, all the way through to finally having the Skyfall tuxedo. I'm extremely excited about it. I'm going to have to use this in my Christmas photo or something like that, but it's comfortable. Um, Yet another acquisition of the Tom Ford life. It's a collectible. I love wearing the collectibles as well. So all in all, a great experience, not without its bumps, but that's life and that's collecting, isn't it? Anyway, this has been David Zaritsky for the Bond Experience. We'll talk to you very soon. Cheers. Take care.